All right. Okay, I'm pumped. I'm excited. Around two years ago, I made my first YouTube video and it was a luxury skincare routine video. And more specifically, it was an entire La Mer skincare routine. I remember feeling so happy to make this video, so excited. I felt just really in my element, like, oh yes, luxury skincare. And up until that point, I had been an active participant in the luxury skincare world for at least two years. And it all started with this product right here. Biologic Research P50 was my gateway drug into the skincare world. And it all just sort of spiraled from there. It was just this black hole that I just found myself in. and. After a while, it just felt like the most normal thing in the world to shell out hundreds of dollars on a single product. And I felt like as a person who had had acne for many years before, like I am doing the right thing by my skin. I am giving it exactly what it needs. And if you look at my library of YouTube videos, you'll see I've made videos about Sisley, La Mer, Biologic Recherche. I've, I've tried a lot of the creme de la creme. But about seven weeks ago now, I broke out in the most hideous, hideous rash all on my face, across my cheeks. I still don't know the exact cause of it, but I do suspect it was a food allergy. But nonetheless, I completely freaked out. And as someone who had battled acne for many, many years, finally came out the other side, and then was spending a fortune on these skincare products to make sure I could have reasonable looking skin. This rash was the rudest, most unwelcome visitor, and I completely panicked and not knowing the exact cause, because I was thinking, well, is it maybe a reaction to a product I'm using now? Did I, did I go overboard with something? And I was just completely spiraling. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna strip back and use the absolute basics, like the essentials of the essentials and that's it. And this turned out to be such a blessing in disguise because I have completely streamlined and simplified my skincare routine. And I never added up the individual items of my skincare routines to see the total. So just for fun, I thought, oh, I'll just see you know, how much my skincare routine is. And it, <laughs> you can imagine the sinking feeling in my stomach when I added up to ooh, over $1,500. And this was everything. The products that I also use maybe once a week or once every two weeks, but still, what? So when I broke out on this rash, the rash took a week to go away, by the way. So after breaking out with this rash on my face, you can imagine I was just obsessively looking like, is it getting any better? Is it getting any better? Is it getting worse? Was that there yesterday? It was just manic. And another thing as well is that at that point I was running low on my current skincare. And I just remember thinking like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to shell out all this money for, to buy this again. Like, yes, they're nice to use, but God, there's gotta be something else out there. So that's when I went and walked to my local drugstore. Now, since I'm in Canada, my local drugstore carries a lot of French pharmacy products. So I went to that aisle specifically. Now the total number of products that I use day and night now, like all together are six products, okay? And the grand total of these products adds up to $230, which I think is pretty damn good compared to what the total was before. So let's go over what these products are. So at night to remove my makeup and cleanse my face, I use this cleanser by Aven. It is the milk cleanser for dry, sensitive skin. I've used other milk cleansers like the ones from Biologic Recherche. I've tried pretty much all of them from the line except the most recent ones. So I've tried Lay You, Lay VIPO2. God, what was the other one? I I also tried the Ritual one. I don't recall the name right now. I've used the La Mer cleansing lotion. I've used the Sicily cleansing milk. And this one is great. It measures right up to them. This does feel the most similar to Sicily's one, I believe. It just has a slightly less luxurious feeling as in it feels a little, tiny little bit less silky, but it still feels silky. I mean, the difference is so negligible. This costs $27.50, Sisley's Cleansing Milk costs $180. So I mean, can use it on my eyes. I find it removes makeup decently. I use my mitt as well when I wash it all off and yeah, feels great. So I'm happy to have found this. It does what it says it does. It doesn't irritate my skin. It removes makeup, awesome. 
so that's at night time, right? I don't use that in the morning. In the morning, I do go in with Bioderma first thing and I just, just to give my face a good cleanse. I know people say you can use water, but I just, I want to actually remove whatever's, you know, come into contact with my skin. So this is just so gentle. I mean, we've all heard of this, right? This is nothing new. This is nothing. I'm not telling you anything revolutionary here. I use one of my facial pads and I just dab some on, rub it over gently and it's nice and refreshing. Keeps my skin calm, beautiful. So I use this morning and evening. And a bottle of this is just 20 bucks. Then I go in with the Aven Thermal Cleansing Water and people might think, oh, well, this is just fancy water. But I do find it reduces my redness significantly. It just really calms my skin. I actually notice it, especially when I have this god awful rash. This was a godsend. So I'll use the micellar water, then spray a bit of this on. I'll either use a you know, hand fan or I'll just um, wait for it to dry. But ever since I've started using this, I've had fewer rosacea flares. So yeah, not too much more to say about that. Feels nice to apply, very refreshing, wakes me up. I use that morning and evening. Then I use a moisturizer, daytime and nighttime. I go in with this one by Embryolise. It's classic, cult favorite, the La Creme Concentrate and this is just great at getting the job done. Now, if you're looking at this and thinking, well, it doesn't look like you've used very much. I did go through a complete uh, mini first. Same with the Bioderma and the Event because I wasn't planning on using these products long-term. It was while I had the rash. But then I finished those and purchased the larger sizes because I just fell in love with what it was doing for my skin and how much more affordable these products are. This sits really nicely under makeup and I also love using it at night in combination with another product I'm gonna show you in a second. But yeah, tried and true, doesn't irritate my skin, hydrates my skin before I was using La Mer and you're never gonna catch me saying like, oh yeah, La Mer, whatever. That's just an okay moisturizer. No, it's lovely. It's a beautiful cream, but I really like this one. And it's easy to spread. It's not fussy. It's, yeah, I like it. I'm gonna continue to repurchase it. It just feels good. I, you can, it's a classic for a reason, you know? Now, one product that isn't really drugstore here, but I can't give this up. This is my sunscreen that I've been using for the past two, three years now. It is the one by IS Clinical. So it's their Eclipse SPF 50 broad spectrum, but it's their tinted version. This one's 72 bucks and I find it lasts me about four or five months. So really not too bad, I think. And I love how this feels on my skin. It is so hydrating. It gives this nice little glow and not irritating, not greasy. So yeah, I couldn't quite give this one up. Cause you know, finding a sunscreen, it's like, it, I don't know. I feel like that's more cumbersome than finding a good cleanser or moisturizer, you know, cause sunscreens are so finicky. So I really don't mind continuing to purchase this one. So that one I use obviously only in the daytime, but at night to finish off my moisturizing step, because that's my last step, I combine these two. So I've told you about the Embryolise. So this oil here is Baobab oil from a line I discovered. It's a local store here called Obaki. And I've purchased a couple of other homeware and kitchenware items from them. They're beautiful. But then I noticed they had a skincare line too. And I didn't know much about Baobab oil before using this, but it is so, so moisturizing. So I've been using this bottle for well over seven weeks now, and it doesn't even look like I've made a dent, does it? Because when I use it, I only need literally a couple of drops. And then I warm it up in my hands and put it over my face. And I can either combine it with this or I apply this first and then put this on later, just at nighttime. And it is so, so moisturizing. I, I, using those two, I don't miss using La Mer. So what I did before is I would use La Mer and combine it with an oil from Sicily, or I've also used the La Mer Renewal Oil. And those oils, they're nice. Like they don't feel as thick as this one. So. I mean, they do offer that benefit of being a lighter weight oil, but just using two drops of this, I actually prefer the feeling of this than those lighter weight oils. So, but I do remember very clearly the texture of using the rich cream of the La Mer with one of the oils. And I also have used the oil by Fortuna Skin and 
All of those oils, all of them are over $300 for 30 mils, okay? And this one here is $45 for 30 mils, so. I think that's a significant improvement, don't you? And that's it, that is my entire routine, daytime and nighttime. So you know, they're very similar, I just add an extra moisturizing step and cleansing step at night, and I use sunscreen during the day, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. And you know what, my skin has actually improved. It looks so much better, but I don't think it's necessarily down to, oh, I've reduced it by however much percent in terms of cost. I think it's because I've just really reduced in, in terms of not fussing around with it as much. I always thought I needed to use a chemical exfoliant of some kind on my skin regularly. I mean, this is how I got into this whole luxury skincare vacuum. But I'm telling you, I haven't used a chemical exfoliant in over seven weeks and my skin doesn't look like overly textured. I'm not noticing much around my nose or anything because when I use the facial mitt to, you know, get the cleanser off my face at night, I find that that's enough and it's not harsh at all. It's very soft. So just a gentle physical exfoliation with flannel, a very gentle flannel is fine. Like. I don't need to use all this other crap. So, you know, this isn't just about using more affordable products. Like that is part of the conversation, but it's like when you stop listening to all the noise and quit tripping out about, you know, having the right vitamin C and the right serum and this and that and the other, but a lot of skins respond really well to just not fussing around with it so much and just leave it alone, let it do its thing. And if I cleanse and moisturize and put on my sun protection, I'm fine. And I can't tell you how freeing and exciting it is to know that if I just cleanse and moisturize and give my skin sun protection and that's it. I know I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, luxury skincare is overrated and it's blah, blah, blah. No, none of that. None of that here is just, I didn't want to spend my money on that anymore. I want to spend it on other things. Because ultimately, what do I want? I want clear, smooth, just generally healthy looking skin. And if these products can deliver that, then amazing. But I must emphasize too that it's not only skincare. Sometimes I feel we give too much responsibility to our skincare products. So in the last several months, I've really been devoting time to looking after my health. And that includes eating well, sleeping enough, you know, all the usual jazz. We all well know all the things. But when I actually started doing the things, I was noticing that my skin was following suit. So having a healthy lifestyle in combination with very few but gentle and effective products just has been really been working for me. I feel so liberated. <laughs> which I know for some people is going to sound very silly and I understand that, but I was just so addicted and hooked on the idea that I needed luxury skincare in order to have good skin. And it feels great to not believe that anymore and to see and have the proof that that isn't the case. Now, is this going to extend to makeup too? Well, I don't know, because I don't need to repurchase makeup as often as I do skincare, and I do love the experience of luxury makeup, and I have, over the years, crafted a relatively streamlined makeup collection, I'd like to think. Though I do have a couple of current drugstore favorites um, that have replaced luxury favorites. So let me just show you a couple because we'll talk about makeup in, in another video soon. But you may have seen me talk about this before. It's the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner Stick. I use this nearly every single day or whenever I wear eyeliner. And a recent mascara discovery, which I absolutely adore, is this one by Maybelline. It's the Firework mascara. And my previous favorite mascara was Sicily's So Volume, which was $100, baby. So while I adore luxury beauty, I love the world of luxury beauty, it is fun to find more affordable alternatives that I can rely on, especially with skincare, because skincare is something that you just, you just buy on repeat once you find what works for you, right? Ideally. So it's so nice to know I can just pop down the street, go to my local drugstore, get my products and peace out, you know? And it's not this whole extravaganza of, ooh, well, what's gonna be even better to make my skin better? So I just wanted to come on here quickly and share. Um, I'm not, you know, gonna talk about the ingredients or this or that, you know? This is just what works for me. And I just, the essence of this is that 
for someone who used to think that luxury was it, like it's this or nothing because I have suffered with my skin for so many years so I need to give it the best of the best or it's just gonna continue to be bad. I surely can't be the only one who believes that. So I just want to extend the message out there to someone else who might need to hear this, who can relate to someone who was hooked on luxury skincare and is now opening themselves up to and enjoying much more affordable alternatives. I don't think one is necessarily better than the other either. I think it's just what is the best for you and your skin? What does it like? What does it not like? In my case, my skin adores simplicity and using as few products as possible. Cleansing really well is so important. I really think people underestimate the cleansing step. You know, it's really good to make sure everything has come off so you have a clean slate you're working with. And in my case, my one of my main issues is redness. So I find that this product here, the Aven Thermal Water works really, really well. And yeah, this is having a good moisturizer and that is it. Just cleanse, not even toning, just cleansing and moisturizing. I feel like a free woman. But now I wouldn't be me if I wasn't down some sort of rabbit hole. And so I have found myself in a little bit of a rabbit hole lately with um, Manasi 7, which is a makeup line. But I want to do a get ready with me with that in the next video because I have oh, quite a few Manasi 7 products now. But yeah, we'll talk about that next time. I just wanted to say for those few people who watch my videos regularly, um, I'm currently finishing up my graduate degree. I'm gonna be finished in December, which is really exciting because then I'm gonna get much, much more time on my hands. And next year, I really hope to post more regularly than I have been. So bear with me. I love making YouTube videos. I wish I could be more consistent, but you know, you know how it is. I also did film a video. I filmed the video, I filmed the B-roll, I edited the video, and then I decided I absolutely hated it. So no video. <laughs> Believe me, I'm much more annoyed than anyone else about this. But I just wanted to get on quickly today to chat about my latest <laughs> epiphany <laughs> that I've experienced. Especially since YouTube recently reminded me, um, it was like, you started your channel two years ago today. So I was like, wow, like between that La Mer video and now I can see the, like quite a bit has changed. I mean, for me, I can see it, you know, like in terms of myself and what is important and you know where I'm spending my money and all this and yeah it's nice to see some sort of growth. Anyway so that essentially summarizes how I reduced my $1,500 skincare routine to a $230 one. I, I am so thrilled. I am so thrilled. <laughs> I will let you know if anything changes, but with skincare, I'm generally a creature of habit. Like I'd had my previous routine for quite a while, well over a, I'd had, I think for a good like year and a half or so, I stuck with exclusively the products I was using before. And I know I still have this P50, but honestly I've noticed I'd use it and you can't see, but I've barely used anything. It's still up to here. So I think I might sell it actually, because I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> I'd love to know what you think about this. Are any of you are watching that have gone from using exclusively luxury skincare to branching out to other brands. I'd love to hear from you, let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.